What if you could mix wearable tech with spy gear and a dash of acoustic time travel? Well, you can't, yet, but this little gadget still has some great ideas behind it. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is Capture, the wearable that's always listening. The idea behind Capture is simple. It sits on your wrist and records. If the green light is blinking, it's on, recording every moment with an omnidirectional microphone that picks up anything within about a five-foot radius. Now, before you start fretting about our modern surveillance state dystopia, understand that this doesn't mean you finish each day with 12 hours of raw audio. In fact, Capture is always recording over itself. The longest it keeps audio in storage is 60 seconds before it's overwritten. To save those 60 seconds, you double tap. Capture connects with your iPhone or Android via Bluetooth, transfers the audio file to its companion app, and bingo, you've just saved the last minute of sound. If your phone isn't nearby, Capture can store up to 25 clips locally to transfer later. For me, most everything good about Capture is in the concept. The idea of preserving acoustic moments in time is alluring if you like taking audio notes at lectures, or you have a lot of funny friends, or I imagine if you have a toddler that's just learning to talk. As a kid who watched Home Alone 2 way too many times, I used to take a yak back or a talk boy to school to record portions of my day, and Capture is the modern and much smarter equivalent of those early toys. Its app also gives you the ability to edit, enhance, and share your clips with others if you want, or you can use it to turn the capture into a more conventional Bluetooth microphone. If that still sounds creepy, keep in mind that it's pretty tough to stealthily spy on people with a capture. For one thing, it's a pretty obvious device, especially in its more flamboyant colors. For another, you need to really whack it to save a clip, so hard that it's basically impossible to be discreet about it. And there are legal considerations, too. Some states, like Massachusetts, make it a crime to record conversations unless both parties have given consent, not just one. So all you budding secret agents out there, keep that in mind. For all the simple genius of the concept, Capture falls short on user experience. First off, this is a gadget that talks to you via LED flashes and wrist vibrations, and that interface takes a lot of getting used to. Second, the 15-hour battery life means you'll be charging it every night, and the charger is miserable. Despite its magnets, it almost never makes a firm connection, so you have to situate it just right. On top of this, Capture itself is pretty chintzy. I've been using it for about a month, and neither the rubber wristband nor the soft plastic grill are aging well. That wristband also has an annoying habit of partially popping off if I accidentally knock my wrist against a doorframe which I do all the time. While it is water resistant, which I like, the overall package otherwise just screams cheap. And the thing is, Capture isn't cheap, even at its newly discounted price. That being said, I really want it to do well enough to justify a sequel. A Capture 2 with better build quality, a charger that works right, and an accelerometer that doesn't make you beat the hell out of it that would absolutely be worth a Benjamin. Because we all have those moments we only realize are precious in retrospect. And Capture is the only thing I've ever seen that lets us go back and save them, even if only in an acoustic sense. Mr. Mobile drops new videos twice a week, folks. Subscribe so you capture them all. Till next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.